Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. Today we have cervical lymphadenopathy in oral medicine. So lymphadenopathy is a term used to describe the clinical sign of swelling of the lymph nodes. So whereas lymph adenitis is a pathological term for inflammation of the lymph nodes. So this picture shows the various lymph nodes in head and neck region so we have the facial lymph nodes submental submandibular the supraclavicular the jugular the spinal accessory suboccipital retroauricular and preauricular so the mechanism of lymphadenopathy so we have humoral and cell mediated response which results in expansion of the lymph node. In general, there are two mechanisms of lymphadenopathy that is hyperplasia and infiltration. Hyperplasia occurs in response to immunologic or infection stimuli and infiltration is a result of various cell types including uh, cancer cells, lipid cells and glycoprotein laden macrophages. So we have basically three causes of lymphadenopathy could be infection, neoplasm and miscellaneous. Now the infection could be bacterial, viral, parasitic and also uh, possibly infective ones. So bacterial could be a dental, tonsil, face or scalp infections, tuberculosis, syphilis, cat scratch disease, Lyme disease. Whereas the viral one, hepatic uh, stomatitis, infectious mononucleosis, HIV infection and parasitic uh, toxoplasmosis and infective one, mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome which is also known as Kawasaki disease. So in neoplasm, it could be primarily uh, such as Hodgkin's or non-Hodgkin's uh, disease or leukemia in secondary carcinoma of oral cavity salivary glands and nasopharynx or malignant melanoma and other mesenchymal tumors whereas miscellaneous it could be sarcoidosis drug reaction or autoimmune diseases so infections the upper respiratory infections such as acute bilateral cervical lymphadenopathy it is a most commonly uh, affected by viruses and bacteria that infect the upper respiratory tract in both adults and children. And so in viruses, uh, the most common one are adenovirus and influenza virus and also group B beta hemolytic streptococcus which causes bacterial pharyngitis and symptoms include cough, sinus congestion and rhinorrhea and occasional fever. Cervical lymph nodes may be bilateral, acutely swollen and tender and may persist for weeks after resolution of other symptoms. So node, nodes may be palpable in the anterior triangle of the neck. Local infections, uh, bacterial infection most often results in acutely enlarged lymph nodes that are warm, erythematous and tender. Uh, patients may have submandibular node involvement more than 50 percentage of the time. So common bacterial pathogens are Staphylococcus aureus and Streptococcus pyogenes. So local infections may include uh, tonsillar abscess, salivary adenitis and dental abscesses. So the cervical lymphadenopathy from local infection may also be of viral origin in HSV and CSV so these viruses cause primary herpetic stomatitis and herpangena respectively so common clinical findings such as um, painful ulcers of oral cavity and oropharynx enlarged bilateral tender lymph nodes in the anterior triangle of the neck the submandibular and submental adenopathy and occasional fever or malaise. Systemic infections. So the viral infection may cause acute syndromes 
such as hand food and mouth disease, chicken pox, measles and rubella. So lymphadenopathy resulting from these viral infections are firm and tender. Tuberculosis this is uh, mostly caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis. It is an infectious and communicable organism. So this uh, cervical lymphadenitis or scrofula is one of the most common extra pulmonary manifestations of tuberculosis. So typical features of tuberculous lymph nodes are firm swelling and usually a group of nodes and nodes typically becomes matted this is a characteristic feature of tuberculosis and abscess or sinus formation if it is neglected so it's a picture of uh, tuberculosis cervical lymphadenopathy now we have cat scratch disease the causative organism is uh, B. hensley which belongs to the Bartonella species. Typically fever, headache and malaise develop along the cervical lymphadenopathy. The area around these nodes often warm, tender, erythematous and may be inturated or suppurative. So this is cat scratch disease. You can see the cervical lymphadenopathy here. Now toxoplasmosis is caused by parasite toxoplasmosis gondii. In uh, immunocompetent patient, this parasitic infection usually ranges from subclinical lymphadenopathy to fatal fulminate infection. So most common manifestation is firm, tender and swollen cervical lymph nodes. Drug reaction. So, anti convulsant and sulfonamides are the most commonly associated, uh, which is uh, causing lymphadenopathy. Although mechanism is unknown, it may be related to the hypersensitive response. Lymphomas. The most common presentation of Hodgkin's lymphoma is painless enlargement of lymph nodes, which may be rubber in consistency. And the Nodes are the initial sites of detection in more than 50% of the cases. So other lymphomas do present with painless lymphadenopathy. So HIV in stage 3 of AIDS after zero conversion, it present as persistent generalized lympho lymphadenopathy which is present for longer than 3 months and involves 2 or more extra inguinal sites. Now, in case of malignancy, the duration of lymphadenopathy in a malignant process is typically for a longer period and associated with gradual enlargement. So, it should be malignancy should be considered when palpable lymph nodes are identified in supraclavicular region or when nodes are rock hard, rubbery and fixed. So clinically we need to take the history then examine the lymph nodes, the location, anatomical location whether it is single, multiple, localized or disseminated, unilateral or bilateral. We need to check the consistency whether it is soft, rubbery, firm or rock hard, whether it is mobile or fixed, the size or the symptoms, it is, whether it is asymptomatic, tender or associated with any systemic symptoms and special investigation regarding the blood routine examination for leukocytosis or lymphocytosis it is common in tuberculosis and leukemia eosinophilia and filariasis the raised ESR count in TB secondary carcinoma and syphilis uh, the contest the complement fixation test should be performed for lymphogranuloma inguinale and syphilis so aspiration of the abscess is essential for diagnosis be it a cold abscess or a lymphogranuloma inguinale and Mantox test for tuberculosis the Borden's biological test for Hodgkin's disease biopsy so probably the most important special investigation so many cases may not be diagnosed clinically and with the help of above special investigation so radiological examination in case of enlarged cervical lymph nodes, x-ray of the chest. X-ray of the chest is essential 
not only to find out enlargement of the mediastinal lymph nodes but also to detect the pulmonary tuberculosis sorry or bronchogenic carcinoma so calcified tuberculosis lymph nodes may easily be seen in the x-ray film but tomography will be essential to know the particularly about the mediastinal lymph nodes lymphangiography it is a test uh, of immense value in finding out the causes of lymphedema because lymph node enlargement and sites of lymph node metastasis in various carcinoma and malignant melanoma so in malignant melanoma sometimes the radioactive phosphorus is added to the radio opaque dye for lymphangiography this will destroy the malignant cells in lymph nodes so this process is known as endolymphatic therapy it is nothing but to um, pictureize or to get the finer details of a uh, lymph node enlargement through using uh, the inoculation of dyes ct scan in case of uh, abdominal and mediastinal lymph node the enlargement the ct scan will be helpful and mediastinal scanning with gallium 67 and also laparoscopy so these are various tests so the state of lymph nodes in various disease on palpation if it is elastic and rubbery it indicates hodgkin's disease firm discrete shorty syphilis fixed and stony heart the secondary carcinoma matted tuberculosis on biopsy the tb gives translucent grayish white patch in early stages in late stages it become opaque yellowish due to the caseous and necrosed thing so hodgkins the presence of multinucleated cell that is the reed steinberg cell lymphatic system it provides an important immune mechanism for the body so when minute amounts of foreign protein are drained from an infected area by lymphatic capillaries immunologically competent cells produce a specific antibody to the foreign protein so the lymphocytes are dispatched to the infected area so the antibody is carried to the area through bloodstream and tissue fluid so the extensive spread of cancer cells through uh, the lymphatic system and their aggregation may block lymph vessels resulting in lymphedema and also these malignant cells may also uh, accumulate in lymph nodes which causes uh, enlargement so the lymphatic system is commonly involved in the spread that is the metastasis of cancer cells this is referred to as lymphogenous dissemination of cancer cells so cancer can spread by permeating the lymph vessels as solid cell growth from which minute cellular emboli may break free and pass to regional lymph nodes so that's all about the cervical lymph nodes so we discussed in detail about various lymph nodes uh, its appearance in uh, various uh, diseases bacterial viral and other diseases so i'll come up with a new topic in the industry and more thank you